Yo, what is up guys, Control here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on actually a standard deck. Uh, I was going to do another wild one, but I actually couldn't stream yesterday because I had some family come in town uh, actually kind of unexpectedly, so I ended up spending a lot of time with them instead of hitting the go live button. But I did go 14-0 with a Reno Galakrond Rogue deck actually in standard uh, after finishing up wild the day before yesterday, so got some gameplay from that for you guys. can show you guys the deck real quick. It's super sweet. Um, pretty straightforward just like a reno rogue deck uh, i think we just call it highlander and standard because there's not reno obviously but they have zephyrus and they have dragon queen alex Farla. so super busted and the pool for dragons and standard actually is a lot better than it is in wild i believe because every time i played this card it felt giga broken so i would definitely recommend giving this deck a spin if you do have the cards for it um even stuff like dragon sword is absolutely insane because you can get veritic from warlock with it and then all of your um your lackeys are four fours which is pretty nuts i had that happen one game but um i'd recommend giving it a spin if you're interested in playing standard i absolutely adored playing this deck uh it was crazy how much value you actually have in it and how powerful it is i think it only really loses to face decks other than that um you kind of just pop off like we did 14 and now uh yeah a bunch of clean easy wins and yeah i'd say if you're looking to get legend last minute in standard uh you got three days Go, go ahead and zoom with this deck because, man, it was easy. And I'm probably going to try and actually do it myself today. Probably try and finish it off after a little bit of wild on stream today. It's probably going to be new. Okay, well, enjoy the video, guys. Thank you for checking this out. And again, sorry for no wild. Just thought I'd let you guys know in the intro real quick. Uh, have a great day and happy holidays. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just hard mall. I don't really want any of this. Vendetta is decent, but I don't have any way to activate it in my hand. I think it's just better cards overall. Cable Rod's definitely one of the better cards. Even Dragon Sword's not bad. I don't know if I just play that on one though. I think that I probably do. It just gives us more info for what we want to do, I guess. We don't. I mean, we have like a dragon, right? Zoraku, baby. Bring it from uh, from wild to standard. That's what I'm talking about. This guy's gonna try and mess with me late game? Not happening, man. We have a 100% winner who's Zoraku, and this guy, you know, our opponent, he probably doesn't know that. But, um, you know, every time that I draw Zoraku, I win the game. It's just, it's written in stone. There are a few things that are as true as often as that, but Zoraku being drawn and control winning is almost a certainty. But so it's not bad. Uh, we can look for a spell, I guess, then. Could also just develop a 1 1. It's probably better, because I don't know what spell I want. Just clear. Go for Miscreant next turn. So he's probably playing the Mali deck, right? Should still be a good matchup, but. It's probably not the best ever. It's a pretty good start. Coil happens a lot of time, I think. I think I backstab just to clear that, so that's why I'm doing this. Is there anything that we desperately want to do this on? I feel like not really. I kind of like assassinate just for removal. Okay, I think I'm not going to swing. We draw something less than 5 most of the time, so our play next turn is going to change. Or we're just going to play assassinate on curve because we're good at the game. Uh, yep. Yeah. They have a 5 mana 5 5 dragon that is Hellfire on it, right? Valkyrie Hellfire? Yes. Look at on Leroy. Yeah, the thing is, it's just expensive. It's like a 9 mana combo and you don't win the game instantly, so it's a little bit awkward. Yeah. Let's see Hellfire card. Abyss is good here. I don't think I just like do the, uh, the flick on the Hellfire card. I think it's good enough. I think we're going to spell Lackey, see what we get here from it. Cold Blood's not bad. Let's take Dragon Sword too and look for another legendary. 
Vendetta is zero mana, remove that with a trade as well. But I'm not doing anything with the other five mana though. Hmm. This feels like it's the best. That's kind of juicy. So I want to ideally play Faceless and then um, Ice Baron Togwoggle next turn. So I think it's, it's still Dagger over playing the Pirates, I'm pretty sure. Even though I picked uh, the Dragon Bane. I think in hindsight, Kagar is probably the pick. Especially with uh, the fact that we're probably going to go for the zero mana 3-3 three, three option. So flicking this doesn't really clear anything from his deck, but it just gets rid of an 8-8. Eight, eight. It's kind of okay. I can also develop the Lackey. If the Lackey's not removed, then I can just play Togwoggle and get my card. So I guess that's probably just a play. Why did I think I was going into turn 9? I'm not sure, but I did think I was going into turn 9 for some reason. I wasn't. So instead, we're going to play Zoraku. Take 4 damage. And summon a 6-6. Six, six. Going to make a good play. Zoraku play. They have to run Plague of Flames though, right? There's no way they don't. The card's just too broken. I just don't really see a world where you just don't jam that card in the deck. Okay. Wait. You really want to go face and give me another 6-6? Six, six? I guess if he's playing Mally, then I'm just dead, right? So I guess that's okay for him then. Doesn't really matter, right? We have no mechs in Oh no, sorry, this is a mech. That's actually a sick combo. So we heal here. That's actually huge. He might not have lethal now because of that. Dragon Bane, best card, dude. Because he doesn't play any discounts, right? And then we just have Leroy for next turn. Dark Skies, okay. That did not line up very well for Kree's Netherwing. It's a 5 mana 5 5 Hellfire card. That's definitely not what I would call a clean clear at all. Okay. Gets rid of her healing. Dude, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Respecting the Zoraku, man. You gotta do it. Uh, unfortunately, no lackey for the Togwoggle, though. Uh, pretty bad that we misplayed with that. But we can just play the 9-6. The Go face. Yeah, that's fine. Hold on to the Sky Pirates. I don't think there's any reason to play them unless I'm playing like um, Edwin or I need a combo activated. But 9 6 is just good. Mali. Does he just board clear? He maybe just board clears here. Coil? Okay. I was gonna say, I don't think it's lethal, right? Okay, so we get the Lackey, but we're one mana short of being able to play what we get from Togwoggle, unfortunately. So we can do that, see what lucky we get. Six, I'm actually just one damage off lethal as well. Should blink flux and see what we get here. This isn't a demon, so it's not gonna get the plus one attack. Kill the melee? Oh yeah, for sure killing the melee, don't worry. I'm just like thinking about what I wanted to do. That's all. Doesn't one breath double soul fire do it? Um, that's only 12, right? I'm at 17. Shields up. Okay, so we get the Giga. 
You could buff Leroy in here to go in. Bang bang, good game. That one was kind of close though. But uh, good game nonetheless. Dude, we still have not lost. We're like, what? 11 and 0 after that game? Yeah, insane. Okay, we queue, we queue a mage. You asked for it. Watch your back. What, what do people play with mage in standard right now? Is it all slow decks or is it fast decks? Because if it's slow decks, then I keep the Alex Raza, right? But if it's fast decks, then I shouldn't. Braindead Conjurer's Mage or Reno? So if it's Reno, this card's a nuts. I think that Edwin is also good, but like on the play, it's hard to play. I think I'm unironically keeping a 9-mana 8-8. Eight, eight. I keep two pretty cards, uh, two pretty good cards to work with it too. Uh, it's kind of nice. Candletaker is really good too. Uh, there's one of the conjures calling. I think I just dagger, and then probably go for candle taker next turn. Hey, didn't I though? Ah, okay. That's an activator for the fence card. Explosion man card, not bad. Alrighty. I am good at the game today. I don't know, it's either I play wild all day and I just low roll all day. I come to standard, I start playing, I draw the nuts and I'm just 11 and 0. Probably is. Ben Brode has probably rigged the RNG to make me very lucky for a little bit. That is always Flame Ward, right? So we do this, and then we go face, and it's always Flame Ward. Never Flame Ward, never Lucky. Counterspell or Spell Bender? Okay. Ben Brod is making grilled cheeses now. He can no longer control our RNG. Hey, you don't you don't know what Ben Brod can and can't do, okay? You might think you know what Ben Brode can and can't do, but you really don't. You have no clue. The man's power is absolutely limitless. Could also just be this. But then I'm not doing anything else. I want to see that felt fine. I don't really have any problems with that play. Kronk's actually, like, he, he was good, but not really that great, because my Galakrond isn't upgraded at all, so... We, we haven't invoked, so it's not like Galakrond's really that great of a card anyways. Right? We're gonna have some fun. Okay, so our hand's buff now. Cool. Woo! Our hand is big. Speak of Galakrond not being upgraded, and Galakrond will become upgraded. Let's invoke. And rush. I probably should have swung with my weapon. That might have been smart. Yeah, maybe it was a smart play to swing with the weapon there. Hard to say. It is a Reno deck now as well. Interesting. Ooh, is your mana Nova? That means we gotta play. Oh. I was gonna say that means you're gonna play Dragon Queen Alex Raza, but I guess not. Could Leroy and trade into it actually?
And like Flame Strike, he still has to trade into the 4 5, so our 9 1's alive. I don't care with that. Let me just play Dragon Queen. Splooge all over the board. Your wish is my suggestion. Zephyrus into like Brawl, maybe? It's good right now. Highlander Rogue or Highlander Priest. Uh, I'm 11 0 with Rogue right now. So it feels pretty good to me, but. I mean, I'm just one dude. Moderately unlucky. That we have an 11 11 dragon, so still moderately lucky. Yeah, not bad. Not too bad. We take those. I don't really know what the answer to that is, to be honest. Um, puzzle box. Into Nether. Oh, that's an answer. Actually, not a bad answer at all. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Um... I meant to play the Rush card, my bad. Um... Whoops! I'm done watching the stream. Thank you, Void. Hey, thanks for spending some time watching the stream today, man. I appreciate that. You know, it means a lot, especially when, uh, you know, Big Dog controls out your playing standard. That uh, some of his loyal fans will, will tune in. Because, you know, not everybody's always super happy when I'm playing this format. So, you know what? I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Means more than, than you could ever know, my friend. That's an unlucky overdraw. Wasn't Kronk's lethal there? Uh, so you don't get to use a Kronk's ability until you've uh, played Galakrond. Unfortunately. Okay, sorry, not 11 and 0, 12 and 0. My bad, guys. GG's. We started at 6 today, man. Rank 3 already. Oh, you uh. Resuming. Okay. So, I've been told that there are a lot of big priests, which I'm not going to lie, I'm not too excited to play against, but I think I'm going to do this with a very similar thing to what I did last game where I kept uh, Dragon Queen. This is in the slow matchups, so I think she's broken. Absolutely broken, but kind of acquires drawing some early game. Because... If you look at the deck, she is definitely the most expensive card. Okay, I don't... Again, I know nothing about this format right now. I don't know what any of these deck lists look like. I don't know what Big Priest looks like. I don't know what Priest decks are meta. Yada, yada, yada. I know literally zip about Sandra. But I do know Stealing and Fading His Face looks funny. So we might want to do that. Pro I probably shouldn't do that, but I kind of want to. Uh, I should actually probably do it next turn. On whatever he plays here. And then play the Lackey, then play Shield of Galakrond, then try to Togwoggle on Curve. Don't hit. Oh, why not, dude? We want them to get the cost on. Mm, do I do I deal damage to myself? Or is it just restoring health in general? It's just he would hero power my face. Do we want him to hero power our face? Let's let's let him hero power our face. I want to play Togwoggle on 6 and have the- oh, fuck. Did that really have to be the option that I got? Then we say mistakes for me, and I just want to play Togwoggle on 6 and have it active. That's- that's this play, if you're wondering what I'm doing here. See, so you're powering your face, being a nice guy. Play the Galakron card. We're not gonna attack. You know, actually, no, no we'll, we'll smack him- we'll smack him in the head here real quick. We'll- we'll give him the good old one, too. Okay. 
Okay, so he kills our stuff, but we do this first. So it doesn't matter. Take the wand. Seven mana next turn, so if I shadow step this, then I can play the faceless lackey and uh, have a second wand. That seems kinda good. Let's let's play for second wand, right? Yeah. Let's do the second wand thing. Do we even want to clear this here then? I feel like probably not. I feel like probably not. Holy, this guy's on some new shit. Your Pyrus's face, okay. So we could get a second one, sap that, kill that. But I think I would rather play my first one because I want tempo, so I think I'm just gonna like do this and then wand. And hold Togwoggle plus faceless for like turn eight, I guess. That's good. That's something. That's also something. Not bad. So we want to do something like that. Not bad. So Psychic Scream is a wild card. Do they have any really good removal cards? That are just like Omega Broken or anything like that? So I have the Vendetta on my own cards, I'm in overdraw. Interesting. Plague of Death, okay. Well, I'm not too interested in overdrawing right now, so I'm gonna do that, I think. I also don't get to play Alex Raza on Curve, which is kinda bad. Uh I probably should have no, actually this is fine. This is fine. So at worst, he'd play, like, Convincing Infiltrator, right? That's, like, his shittiest play that we know he has. Yeah, that's the shittiest one. So most of the time, Bloodlust by itself does 18. And then we have 8, 10, 14. 14 plus 18 is 32, so could just go Zephyr's Bloodlust and win next turn. Okay, that removes quite a bit of the damage that we would have with that. I mean, does a new hero power. I'm gonna see now, Bloodlust is probably not gonna be lethal. Yeah. 9 plus 15 is probably not gonna be lethal. Probably we just like do the thing to AoE removal this, but it's still probably fine to do. I don't think that this is that strong. I Maybe it is a. I just can't invoke it on the same turn, so it feels kind of off. Maybe I get some way to kill that though from the invoke to free up some space. You could just do like this and then play that. Okay. It does not kill anything. And then we just do some damage. That's not really that relevant, right? I'm gonna say that's not relevant. So you go face. It's fine. Let's get a plague? Okay. Uh, that would make sense, yeah. Okay. That's such a dope animation. 
So our counter is at four, but I don't think that it's... Oh, no, it is. It is fully upgraded. Okay. So I guess we should try to Kronk sign. I guess we could Alex draws up first, but... Yeah, I mean, no, no, that's that's fine, right? Alex draws up first, because we might just draw Galakron. Okay. So we fuck up his res pool with this, so it seems like it's pretty good to play. Um, should I even bother playing another card? Probably. Okay, so cool stuff. He plays another removal card. Okay, no big deal. That actually was not that ideal for him. Second is Syria. <laughs> that is not uh, not ideal at all, I'd say. Yeah, that's gonna feel like shit, actually. Okay, well we're gonna play cards and do stuff. Discover a dragon. Hmm, that's a dragon. Play more stuff. So we actually do overdraw if we play Galagron. Okay, better head's not bad. Is it only oh it's plus three for you? Wow, that's actually super good here. Really good card for him. Nine nine. How the fuck do I deal with a 9, a 6, 9? I could flick it. The problem with, like, my hand right now is it's just super clunky. So, like, I, I could, like, flick plus Van Cleef, but that just feels really bad. It doesn't do anything. It makes the hand smaller, I guess. But that's, like, the only added upside that it has to it. Okay, so we got rid of both the batter heads he has, okay. That's good. And he can't res now too, which is pretty big. But he can res Zilliax. Card suit, okay. And then the buff. The buffs are kind of what are strong now, that's the annoying part. So we do this, and then we play the big card that draws four. Leroy is pretty good. Uh, do I have to play? I guess playing Leroy is good though. Because then he has all the shit cards in his res pool. Yes, it seems good. I can't really come up with a problem with it at least. It's a 6 drop, so it should evolve it to a 7, I guess. Seems pretty good. That's a 7 drop. Swing plague again. Double breath, okay. Think I'm gonna hold the weapon. One one's gonna have on board because I execute, right? Super strong. Tombs. 
So... I don't think I have lethal. Because it's 14, right? I could get a lackey that gives damage. That would be the out. Would this even give me hex if I did this? Or would I have to be closer in mana to it? Okay, that's not a lackey that gives me damage. I want to be at 6 mana. That's kind of good, so it just plays out for Sloss, right? Dude, I love farming the Keck W's though. It's always fun. But holy fuck, dude. Okay. Well, not gonna lie, I still don't like to play against Big Breeze. Yeah, in either format. This deck is super boring. The flick on the batter head was good. That helped a lot.